So, the most serene republic of Finland exists with its 81 year old, 82 year old ruler. Oh no. Every single instance of this happening. That is problematic. Well, honestly, I should dump more into this. Let's jump ahead. Let's just use our gold and make sure. Already trying to kill this man. He's in hiding. Can we... Who are you? The leader of a plot. Imprison him. Can't revoke his title. So into the Oublietti goes. Kaplan, this man. Check our laws. Can we do something? Title revocation allowed would work. Oh, look at that. Finland does not have to deal with the council. Well, 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 well. Yes, we would like to be allowed to revoke titles. Everyone would not like it. Um, right, so we can press ducal claims here. Rather, de jure claims. What are you? You're just this thing. Didn't we go to war over this? We could press our daughter's claim on this. Which would probably be a good idea. Yeah, let's press her claim. We could use some more land. And raise got had to clean my mouse real quick on the bottom there was moving a bit weirdly. Okay. The Children's Crusade is in, in Gotland for some reason. Hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with them. Look at them, sieging us. An army. Oh, they have two pieces of land. Ah. Mayors are always really unhappy if you use their troops for too long. They will just have to deal with it. Up to kill him. Oh no, to seize a trade post from this guy. Wait, I can plot for that? I'll have to check this out. I never knew about that. But now we'll just imprison everyone that gets on our wrong side. Which is everyone! Okay, we should upgrade our trade posts further. 
everyone to level 2? Sounds about right, doesn't it? So just upgrading everything to level 2 on the ports that are still somewhat new. We are at our limit. 12 trade posts. It'll be a costly undertaking. I want to take this piece, but I have a feeling that Sweden is already taking Suomi. Definitely looks like it. Militarily speaking, we are not very strong currently, but that's because most of our troops are still depleted from that crusade that took our lifetime. A longest war. Good boy! Usurping titles here. Look at them! Oh, and he made a new vassal out of it. Art. But he did not remain a republic. He has switched over to the castle. Ah, that... Damn it! <laughs> yes, he has settled our horse. Cannot allow you to take that, I am quite sorry to say. Must be war. Our granddaughter and the Prince of Sweden, yes. Let them be betrothed. All the Swedes don't want an alliance with us, but at least we have a non-aggression pact, so they're not going to come for us. Alright, all our trading posts were upgraded. Check for them once more. Everything to one. First the things that make money, then the things that protect the money. Would you look at that? Right, we should also upgrade Visby. Not a bad idea. On the university, but definitely want tax incomes here. The walls. We can upgrade the castle towns. God. Holds two. Let's see. Do this then. Alice is being upgraded. Let's upgrade our home port. Well, to level three, really. And now Holland port, also, why not? Let's push them a bit. We have found the victory out here. So back to sieging we go. Geoffrey claimed that the tides of the Mediterranean Sea would split. Well, nope, he's kind of stuck. No splitting of the sea would, was had. Small cottage at the age of 83. Let's have a tumble. Or we could become chased at the end. No, no. We'll be cheery. And... A woman named Brigitta will appear. Who is now our lover. We have a 17-year-old lover at the age of 83. Where's my son and heir? Or rather, my grandson and heir.
You need more sons, boyo. Hope she's pregnant. No, she's not. Already old. He's 27. That is too old. Oh, we could imprison our daughter. No, let's just stop stuff. Don't be weird. We could compose a book, which would just burn money at this point, because we're never going to live to see it written. Which is a shame, because writing a book now would probably be pretty decent in its outcome. So Merchant Republic really is the epitome of you gotta spend money to make money. And we'll upgrade everything we can right now, honestly. Why, why wouldn't we? Why would I not? Makes no sense. Let's spend the money while we have it. It'll yield us more money in the end, wouldn't it? Definitely makes sense to do this. The return on investment is going to be great, I'm sure. 97. Ah, why we're still here. That. We have one here anyway. Can raise all 50 troops from here. So I shall. I have fought for you, now you fought for me. Uh, fight for me. This is the way. Oh look, there's some 19 troops there too. Even see those. Merchant enclave was built down here, so let's build it a garrison. This is how we do it. Merchant Republic. Going to Merchant Powerhouse. Getting all that income going. Trade post in Kent. Trade zone values. 590 gold. Wow. A lot. Isn't it? Yeah, the trade zone value here is way lower. 580. 580. We have won victory, so let's take it. Silly little revolt. Group our troops, stand them down, and bring the retinue home. Go fabricate the claim here. has been built we go evenly how much is this trade zone worth doesn't say these are worth a bunch we are taking out the most sleet the city of sleet was built let us upgrade it then. Child Crusade is just going to give us some more updates, but it doesn't matter all that much to us. I'm going to be very involved. Oh look! The Holy Roman Empire has taken over where we hold our little cities and whatnot, so that's good. Means a bit more protection for our troops and everything. We are spending literally all of our crusading money on upgrading our ports here. Almost all of it. We also invest in our cities a little bit. What is our income these days? Plus 36. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. 
Good chunk. Should also get more wreck news. I think we definitely need something more attack focused. So let us get some house carls. Let's push those to a thousand. Um, we will find our own path. Because I think 24 out of 30. Opinion of you, okay. No one cares if we kill this man. Everyone cares if we kill this man. So we need to murder someone who is not in hiding. So we can potentially get this bloodline here. I thought we were further along. No longer kind, oh no. Let's approve the plan. Right, do we have more? Yeah, we have. I think we need some, some light infantry and just some skirmishers as well. So we survive the skirmish parts of a, of a battle. Or we get some cavalry going. Let's get some cavalry going. Can't get more of these, so we get more of these then. What is revealed doesn't matter to us. Let's build these up first because they give us the most direct impact, financially speaking. And they also the most costly. Not exactly pretty to do it like that, but money speaks. That's a fact. Sometimes the clicking doesn't work so well, which is a shame. Look, we hold everything at home. That's good. What you want. Parcel infrastructure. Level 2. There we go. Can do that. That way we can build a castle town to add more tax income. Directly into our pockets. And now we're poor again. This is how you spend all that crusading money in one go, basically. Of Dunsic. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the one we want. Did you guild hall here? And now we just have to wait because. We need to save up money again to spend it. Can't imprison him because he's in hiding. This one died. Next we kill this one. When he's in prison that should be fairly easy and quick. Where is most of our money going to? Retinue upkeep and family dues. Okay. Once our retinue is fully stocked, basically, we will see some better monetary returns here. Can't even upgrade this anymore. Give it a garrison then. Someone died, 
And they know it was us. Three more. Let's see if we can do it. If not, that's also fine. But I definitely want to see how we get on. Luckily our plots are pretty quick these days. Children are still going and we are very impressed with it. Walls built in Sleete. So let us build a town market here. Very cheap, very quick way to earn some money. And there we go. It was just a matter of time indeed. Um, a zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars in recent history. That is true. The history books aren't lying here. Major Prince Mayor Botstein II, having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Long live Prince Mayor Botstein II. So be it. Alright, and we have some gold again, which is nice because Botstein II, of course, had his own income. But we are over our trade post limit, which I do not know what that means. Is that bad for us? Is that good for us? No idea. Let's see. Cannot seize a trade post, which might be because we're over our limit already. Okay, how, how about everyone stop this? How about everyone try not to kill us, huh? How about, how about we do that? How about we start stopping with this? Who are you even? Right, so there's a whole bunch of people trying to get me dead. It's not ideal. So our son here, I don't know if he, he can probably be our heir. So our uncle is very respected and old. Let's see if we can't find someone better. Minor titles. Designated regent. Sure, why not our aunt? These are all very old. All our uncles are left. So yeah, we should probably stick with him. Um, one in particular stands out here. Let's give him this state inquisitor job. Let's make him this. And we're going to be a meritocracy again. Let's get our uncle. So why not the young commander? I mean, he's really good. And we could use a different guy. Like this one here. Let's get the really good one. He has earned his seat on the council, I feel. You will be our steward, and I always click the button wrongly. See, they, they don't even fit on the island. They're just standing there in the ocean. Probably also going to be an uncle of ours. No, it's going to be this guy. Definitely not. Let's take our wife. She's not ideal, but at least she likes us somewhat, so that's good. Commander. Uh, let's have it be this guy. Why not? Now we need an ambition and a focus. And we are definitely going for a seduction so focus in the beginning. There's no question about that. And we would like to groom an heir because we definitely need heirs groomed. So, where do we look for women? Of course, all around us. So let's uh, make a list of women we would like. Yes, we will preserve all the artifacts. Mm. Yeah, she's good. 17. And he has some daughters as well, but they're all fairly old. 35, good enough. 29, also good enough. And... 
We should probably throw out a bunch of people from our court. Especially the women. The old women who were just lovers to our father. Uh, goodbye. She will stay. My aunt will stay. We could probably seduce her. I don't know about our sister though. Well, she's young. We can just get her. Also young. Religiously convert her. She is definitely one of the father lovers. She probably likes us. No? Thought she might have a high opinion of the predecessor. Bye. Let's kick out people. You don't want to have a large court if you're not doing anything with it. 32, you're too old. But I can't ask you to leave, so... We'll put you on the list. Can go though. I don't know. Our kinswoman, she can stay. Lady Montfort. Okay, we got a good list of ladies to take care of. Oh, we can set crown focus. Definitely. Always set the crown focus. It does nothing, but definitely do so. Oh, we could write a book. Are we good at anything? Yeah, let's... Ouch, that, that's expensive though. But it's fine. Um, ba -ba -bum. So diplomacy or intrigue? Diplomacy or intrigue? Marshal? Stewardship? Let's go with stewardship. We already have one stewardship book and we could use another one. Why not? Right, our wife is pregnant. That's a good start. Okay. We stop leading troops somewhere out there. Do we have still some weird troops raised somewhere? No. With a realm this large, sometimes it's hard to remember <laughs> where there's troops. Okay, let's see. What is she? Let's quote love poetry. Very good. So we got someone here. Oh, she wasn't even a special interest character. Elizabeth. Well, hello, little Elizabeth. It will be mine indeed. Okay, we still got some money going. I think we're going to save it up for our palace. Once that's done, because this gives us more trade pools limit as well. And then we can check if maybe we can do... Seizing a trade pools as a plot. Okay. She's not super open to it right now, so let's move on to the next one. Berta. Income is looking okay. We're just waiting for the palace to finish now. Oh no. The ghouls met her at it again with us. New vendetta or a renewed vendetta. Oh, very good. Isn't she on our list anyway? Yeah. We move. Okay. Marta doesn't want to be seduced. We go on to the next one. She seduddled? 
Is she our lover? Yes, she's our lover. So she can be removed from our list here. Okay. You're pregnant, but you're lustful. Let's make a lewd suggestion. Very good. A possessed lover. What? Whatever could go wrong. Secret, our dear aunt. Let's seduce her. The risk makes it even more exciting, indeed. Indeed it does. Oh, God. Okay, palace be built, please. Come on now. The right of way. The port of Gotland is particularly busy today, but you have decided to take a small trip on one of our family's galleys and have no intention of cancelling our plans. Your captain skillfully guides the ship through the jumble of merchant vessels and towards the open sea. You have nearly left the harbour when another galley flying goldsmith colours recklessly cuts in front of us. The two galleys collide with one sound of splintering wood, but with the exception of several broken oars, there doesn't seem to be any serious damage to either ship. From the deck of the goldsmith galley, Patrician Peter screams obscenities at you and accuses you of trying to ram his ship on purpose. He demands the right of way to leave the port before us. That does it? Ready the ship for battle? Battle is joined! Very nice painting there. Looks like there's a lady standing on the on the waves. Well, I guess. Battle is joined! Your ship readied for battle, and Patrician Peter immediately responds in kind. Bowmen take a position at the railing, and hails of flaming arrows are soon exchanged between the ships. Nearby merchant vessels hurry to distance themselves from the duel, and as furious battle continues, both galleys drift out of the harbour and far out to sea. The rigging of the Goulsonet galley has caught fire, but you have little time to celebrate this victory, as your own ship is taking on water. A savage boarding action unfolds as both crews fight to escape their equally doomed ships. When the smoke settles, both galleys have slipped beneath the waves and you and Peter are desperately clutching to the same piece of flotsam, shouting insults at each other. I hope you're happy now. Okay, we are now... <laughs> adrift. Days of toil and hardship. You drift at sea for what seems like days until you and Patrician Peter are finally picked up by the passing galley. Your relief at being rescued is short-lived, however, when the grinning captain announces his crew looks like the spider just caught a couple of flies. To the sound of cackling whips, oh, crackling whips, and a steady drum beat, you and Peter are chained and put to work as oarsmen along with the other slaves on the pirate galley. The hours pass and a haze has... Uh, in a haze as we toil in the oars, and we're nearly at the point of passing out when Peter shares his water ration with you. Us. He receives a severe whipping for this, but as the guards are busy with him, you notice that one of the links in our rusty chain looks ready to snap. The ship is passing close to shore, and you could probably make it. This is a tough decision. He just gave us water. Okay, let's make it a character decision. We are diligent, patient, and charitable. We are cynical and ambitious, but we are not a bad person. So, while I would like to click this, Prince Mayor Botstein II cannot leave Peda. The mutiny. Using our chain, we struggled the guard. We strangled the guard, whipping Botstein and break free. The rest of the slaves take this as a cue to lash out at the pirate, at any pirate within their reach, and the ensuing commotion gives us enough time to sever Botstein's chain with the fallen guard skimming her. Together, we work f to free the rest of the slaves, and soon a full mutiny has broken out. Many slaves are cut down, but there are enough of uh, of them to overwhelm the pirates, and within moments, only their injured captain is left alive. What now? We ask Botstein as we sail back towards Gotland. What now? Let me tell you what now, Botstein says. We are even now. The feud between our families is no more. We have seen we have been through enough together. He offers Are we offering ourselves the hand in friendship? 
Yeah, it's fine. So be it, friend. And thus ends a vendetta lasting a lifetime. A lifetime of our grandfather. Sigrid also doesn't really look to be open to be taken. Ogri, another son. He will be a thrift boy. Alright, and with the vendetta ended, I think we can end it here too. Thank you for watching. See you around.